What's going on guys? I got a quick little tutorial for you. Um, if you're new to the channel, I just got this pop up and I'm going to be making some videos on it. So today we're going to start off with uh, replacing the bungees that hold like this bed like underneath. So uh, we got this kit from Camper Solutions and it's for specifically a Coleman pop up which this is. So uh, they might have other options. But uh, I'll link their link to at least this one, or maybe their whole stuff. I don't know. We got it off eBay, so I'll link something down below. Um, so it comes with obviously the bungee cord. It's got a hook already on there, and it comes with another hook, and it comes with some. Uh, it's kind of like a snake, but it's really just primary wire. It uh, it works, uh, and yeah, that's it. So things that I found you're gonna need. I did that side already. But uh, things I found that you're gonna need, um, I like one of these clamps, kinda like a U-bolt, and uh, I'll show you this at the end. And then a uh, good pair of scissors or maybe a knife or something, just to cut the bungee. And then electrical tape, this is key. If there's one thing that you definitely need, it's, it's definitely the tape. I also found it convenient to have a pair of vice grips, doesn't really matter what size, but uh, just to clamp the bungee when you pull it through. So yeah, let's get started. So what I believe is the way that you're supposed to do it, I didn't read the instructions to be honest with you, but I believe you're supposed to hook this on here and then you would feed this end through your canvas and it essentially it would pull it would pull this through and uh, I was having trouble with that because this hook or like this specific hook design didn't fit through the eyelets in my canvas so what I found worked was I would take the other end and this hook just pulls off take the other end put it right through here and then tape it down here this is terrible lighting hold on so I would tape it past the yellow mark because if you tape it around up here it's too thick to fit through the eyelets. So just like that is all you'll need. So the first thing you're going to want to do obviously is pull your old cord out. Mine happens to not have any hooks on either end. You can see it's really thin there and it's ripped on this side. So I'm just gonna pull it out. So my first eyelet is over here, and I'm going to take the the end of the wire. It's going to come through there. So the hook on the end. You can essentially just hook onto your last hook over here and then uh, feed it, start feeding it through. And it's important to remember that you should come out here and go back in here and not just run straight through. I forgot to do that the first time and it's a pain in the butt. So I'll show you what it looks like once I get it started. Now feeding it through the corners is the most difficult part so just take your time work it through and then uh, you got to get it all the way over to here and pull it out sometimes the easier way to get it through is instead of pushing the other end is to find the wire inside and then you kind of pull the canvas back and pinch it on the outside and then pull it pull it through so you just kind of keep doing this so pinch here pull the canvas and then pull the wire and you just kind of keep doing that until you feel it get to the hole over here okay so I worked the material all the way back from the original edge all the way around. So you gotta pull through each one, feed it through the corners, and then clamp it here and look how much extra material 
you have to work with. This will probably actually make it to here and I'll be able to use the last hook. So I got the whole bungee cord fed through and this is that clamp thing I was saying. I don't know how I can get in there with the microphone on the top, but uh, it's basically just a U-bolt and it has these like grips. I don't really know what it would be called, but uh, it works perfectly to clamp. So sort of like run this through, loop it and then back through and you just tighten it down. It works like a dream. So I have two fresh bungee cords on either side of the beds now. Don't have to worry about any critters getting in here or possibly falling out of the beds. That's like my biggest worry. I haven't slept in here yet, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps you somehow, some way. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is stuff that I love to do and with my broken foot, I hope to be making a whole bunch more videos and stuff like that. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Right after me